hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the process of the modern type like uh, cross processing effects so i'll provide you that preset download link in my video description and i'll show you the setup of that preset and it's uh, totally in a camera filter so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so before one was like that the ordinary normal image but after one you're getting this type of cross processing look so at first go to the file and open up here is my stock image i downloaded this one from devvienna.com and i'll provide you the download link and the image credit link in my video description for your practice purpose and press ctrl j then go to the filter camera filter those who are the user of the cs version that means cs6 or a earlier version they have to download this one manually and set it up manually so if you want to get the download link of these camera settings please check out my video description for the download link and from here you will get a small menu which is the load settings options and the here the setup that is the modern cross processing that is the xmp file you know that the xmp file is a preset file of camera filter and open it up you're getting this type of nice look and which will make your photography next level so here i just given the temperature plus 9 and tint minus 16 and plus 30 for the contrast and highlight minus 10 and here the shadow plus 10 and blacks that is minus 30 and variance uh, vibrance that is minus 5 saturation 10 so after that you are getting over here the tone curve which is just i made it like that so i made this one in upper side that's why you are getting here the matte look and the rest of the thing is like this and i didn't touch that so here the sharpening amount that is i didn't touch that and here the saturation hue and luminance three things i just here the increase that is the orange color which is the luminance i made it up for the uh, like a color tone of the face here the split toning that is the main thing of this thing or this tone so you're getting here 206 for the highlight color and hue highlight hue and the saturation nine and the hue of the shadow 171 and the saturation 7 and no lens correction issues from here i just made it dh for the clear look and the camera calibration i didn't touch that so i just made it like split toning and you are getting this type of effects so if you need you have to assumption to change this out so and hit the ok button you're getting like that you can add another filters and other steps this one is too much simple to make your photographs in the next level or this type of cross processing look this one is split toning things so what is the split toning split toning is a shadow and highlight color so shadow color here the like green type and the highlight color is like brown type so you're getting the cross processing look from here hope that you learned a lot from this video and this one is a short video if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to download the preset you have to check out my video description and i just give you an over there the image credit line and download link that portion so until the next video i may signing out today don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications bye bye